Hello and welcome to the programme. I'm Justin Briley. It's no exaggeration to say that my guests today are an institution in the world of music. Daniel O'Donnell has been a household name since he had his first hit over 25 years ago. And for many years, Mary Duff has shared a stage with him as a special guest at his live shows with audiences around the world. Daniel's open about his Christian beliefs and has recorded many songs that reflect his personal faith. Mary and Daniel recorded a very successful duet album ten years ago, and now they are together again, which, as it happens, is the name of their new album. Daniel and Mary, thank you very much for joining me. Nice to be here, Justin. Well, we uh, have spoken to you on a number of occasions at Premier, Daniel, and sure. uh, it's always interesting to see what you're coming up with next in terms of uh, the, the various releases you've had over the years. But you seem to have this rock-solid core of fans who are just there year in and year out. Uh, what, what's the secret of your success when it comes to your fan base? Well, we're certainly very fortunate, both Mary and myself. Um, we have a great following. There's a, a people who have followed us right from the beginning, and, and always there are new people who come uh, to the shows every time we do them, and they're very, very supportive. And I suppose they just enjoy the music and, and they seem to relate to the music. Yes, Mary, from their you childhood say maybe they can remember what they're doing at certain times and I suppose we play a lot of the music that other arts maybe don't perform for them and it, it encourages them to come and see mm. us and they've stick, stuck with us, fans for life. That's right, yeah. <laughs> Very devoted. And really they do come to see the both of you because you've been working together for so long now. What is it, about 20 years? 20 years just gone, September 24th. It's a long, long time. A lot of marriages don't even last yeah, half that. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Mary was three and I was four. When we just in Obviously. case you want to know. I'm the other woman. <laughs> well, when did things get, though, when they started out? I mean, how did you guys get together? Well, Mary... You, you know, she sort of started to run after me and I just... <laughs> <laughs> In 1987, I did my first um, tour, a first concert tour in, uh, here in the UK. And at that time, we, we needed somebody to open the show. And my manager, Sean Riley, had known Mary from a couple of things she had done and uh, thought she would be a good person to, to do the opening of the show. And uh, she did. She joined up, as we said, in, in September 1987. And I think almost immediately I certainly realised, and we all realised, that Mary was more than just somebody to open a show. She became very much part of the show. And, you know, we've been together ever since, pretty yes, much. we have. And we started doing the duets, I suppose, about 94, was Yeah, we were a few years into singing before yeah. we actually attempted to sing together. Yeah. <laughs> and the first song we did was a song called um, Somewhere Between and uh, we enjoyed doing that. So then we just did the first album and... Um, it's 11 years. 11, yes, yeah, almost 11, yeah, just timeless. over 10. So we, we, um, we've, we've been planning to do this album, you know, ever since. But there was always something. Mary yeah, was doing things, never enough I was doing we're things. Always busy doing other things. And, sure. and we didn't even think, you know, that we'd been together 20 years. It wasn't like this is an anniversary album, you know, to you know commemorate 20 years together. It just happened. <laughs> uh, that that you know, it's it's now, and uh, we're very happy with. Mm -hmm. I mean, time it's flies, nice. doesn't it? I mean, it does. does. Think, does. You know. I think in this business, maybe more than any, because you're looking forward to tours and you're in the middle of a tour, you're looking forward to the next show. And by the time you know it, the year has gone by, you just don't know where it's gone. Yeah. And because I think we enjoy it so much as well, it's not like we're doing something that we don't like. Well, well that's the point. I mean, you wouldn't have stuck it out this long if you didn't both enjoy it exactly. a lot. Exactly. And yeah. I guess your styles obviously complement each other. Yeah, I think we're very fortunate, really. I mean, obviously, musically, we, we would have, have similar tastes, you know, at, I mean, different tastes too, but somewhere in between, we, we sort of cross over in all of the music we like so that the stuff we like to sing complements, you know, we complement one another that mm -hmm. way. Now, the duets, I suppose, we're very fortunate that our voices blend together because it's, it's difficult to get two people... Uh, you know, male, female, that, mm. that, that the that range, the range is, is, yeah. is, is compatible yeah. or, or, you know, you can mix it all. Now, after 20 years, 
Mary, you must know Daniel quite well. So, is he really as nice as he seems to be? Do you want the real truth? Yes, we want the real truth. <laughs> we, we want the dirt. Just well, had, I just had her on a very, very expensive date. You did? We had Actually. her on the calf across the road, and three of us had our, had our dinner for ten pounds. That's there you go. Yeah. So, so she can't say can't anything bad about me after that. <laughs> there isn't any dirt, and people are always asking me that. What can you dig up about him? Tell us something that's really bad that, that nobody knows about. But there isn't anything bad. Anymore. After the affair that we had. Well, we won't tell you about that. We, we keep that one on low profile. But it's just like people say to me, "Oh, you're so looking. How do you actually look into his eyes and sing with him?" And you must be very nervous. But like to me, he's a working partner. Mm. The same as I'm talking to you. Sure. It's not that we would fancy each other or anything. I mean, <laughs> when you're on stage looking at someone's eyes, it's just yeah. a part you're Sometimes playing. Sometimes we laugh. Oh, we do. We're not supposed to laugh. <laughs> but that happens too. But uh, there's no dirt. Yeah. No, of say. course. I mean, it's, it's lovely that, in a sense, that relationship has just given a lot of pleasure to a lot of people. Over yeah, the years. we've enjoyed it too immensely. I mean, we feel very fortunate and, and very grateful to the people Absolutely. who have followed us over the years. And, and, you know, we st talked about how loyal they are. They, they really are incredibly loyal. And, you know, we, we did a show yesterday up in Coventry. Coventry for children in need. And it was over 2,000 people came to a yeah. radio show. And wow. it was, you know, went out live on the radio. And we sang songs. And just that people from between one and four on, the, on a Monday afternoon would make the effort to come, it's, yeah. it's And they, it's they practically all wait for just over three hours I know, to meet we, us we, afterwards we, as well. At four o'clock we finished, and at just about 7.30 we finished meeting people. Well, well this and there is was the other thing. people there it, too, you know, singers. It's a two-way relationship, though, because obviously you are both happy to, to do that, to meet your fans. You you want to, you know, give back to the people who are, who are coming and watching. And well, I think it's lovely to meet people. It's nice to meet people, yeah. yeah. And, it, you know what? It means that when you, you do a show, you're not actually going out to a whole hall full of strangers. Mm -hmm. You look out in the audience and you recognise... I'm sure that... I was going to say, there must be people who you almost know as... Mm. You we know. would too, big time. You know all and about we know them. Like, yeah. And yeah. there was one couple, one, two ladies there yesterday, mother and daughter, and the, young, the daughter was waiting on a, a call to say she was a grandmother and that the... Grand, the, the mother would have been a great grandmother and you know mm. all that kind of things that that you find out about people sure. that if we didn't meet anybody we would never know and, and yesterday too I mean there was a number of, of acts on but this classical group called Blake the four fellas that just got together and I think they really enjoyed the whole thing of meeting everybody and, and I think the people from their record company or management were quite intrigued with mm. this meeting yeah. business and and think they, they saw a great value in it, mm. you know, from that point of view. Turning to the album, uh, it's Together Again, it's being released from Monday the 29th of October mm. and the single from it that people are, are uh, it's available to download, I understand, mm. is Save Your Love. That's right. And that's a live version that it you is. did. That's right, yeah. we did it. Yeah. We recorded it. Well, first of all, the song I mean, I have known it, Mayor. We've both known it, you know, from it was out before. And it's 25 years mm. since Rennie and Renata had that out. Now, that again is coincidence. It's not like we're saying, oh, 25 years we've got to record it. <laughs> when I, we were in Australia last year, I did a, a signing at a record shop, and the guy that owns the shop said, oh, you should record Mary and yourself, Save Your Love. And um, I thought, is that the Rennie and Renata? And... Uh, I said, oh, there's Italian and everything in that. So and I th thought, you know, yeah. with my skills and my, you know, <laughs> being multilingual, I said, oh, that would be no problem. But I really didn't think we would do it. Mm. And then we started to listen to it, and I said, we'll have a go. So we did it at this live show. We were doing a, a TV recording for the States, and it just went down a treat Done. with Absolutely. the audience. I think the fun of singing in yeah. Italian, yeah. and yeah. it's it's a fun. It's not like it's not. Se we don't treat it serious. I think maybe Rennie and Renato was more serious. A bit more than we serious, are. but we sure. were but, um, more fun. We're more, you know, fun. And and if people want to see that, they can go to saveyourlove.co.uk, which is the sort of the website being used to promote the single. Yeah, you can download it. Apparently, yeah. yeah. we're yeah. real modern. Yeah. Now. You are. Right? Yeah, we can be downloaded <laughs> and everything. And, and we come out in such good condition. <laughs> yeah, just fantastic. We come out flat, you know. 
No wrinkles, no nothing. Great. I'll go with that. And obviously the rest of the album is... Uh, it's all duets. Yeah, a yes. lot of favourites. Yeah. You know, a lot of songs. Because it's so long since we did mm. the album before, you know, we've been doing new songs in the show. New old songs, mm. mostly. Mm. And so, so there's My them, Happiness and, and The Harbour Lights. Yeah, and Good Looking. Over. And Together Again is the title of the album. We um, found out the title, but we hadn't recorded the song. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so we had to go back and pick the title of the record company. And uh, we said, well, we better record the song, so. So yeah, in we went yeah. and recorded yeah. Together Again. And over the years, you've, you've done a lot together. You've now recorded this, this new uh, DVD as well, which is going to be going out with the CD. I understand that that's sort of a, a bonus just for a short yes, while. Yes, it's, it's, it's a number of... Um, songs that would have been recorded on DVD, like from different promotional things or shows that we would have done. So this is available uh, for a while. It's not going to be always available, apparently. Yeah. So buy it quickly. Absolutely. Get yeah. it? Yes, get it. It's in only time. to get us in the charts. It's <laughs> yeah. joy. You know, oh, don't. Well, I was going to say, yeah, this, it's, this it's is like we're giving something wonderful. It's just, <laughs> it's just to try and get people to buy it so yeah. we get in the charts. That's the raw. <laughs> truth of the matter. Well, but at the end of the day, the, the interesting thing is that <clears throat> you have had an album in the charts every year, I understand, since 1987 or something That's like right. that, in the past 20 years. 20 years, That's I think. quite an achievement. I know, I'm in the Guinness Book of Records. Wow. <laughs> and I didn't eat any snails, <laughs> or I don't have... I didn't live with rats or anything, you know. That's usually what you get in the Guinness Book of Records. Yeah, I just absolutely. released albums, and people got me and the charts every year, so it's it's very rewarding. Among your many songs and albums, Daniel, um, have been songs of faith as well, and you've always been open about your Christian beliefs. Uh, has that always been something that's been important to you? Yes, I think that it's important uh, for me. And I, I, I only realised, I suppose, that it was important for me when I started to travel, because at home... I was I was brought up Catholic and and um, you would go to mass at the weekend because you had to go and uh, then because somebody would miss you or you somebody would tell that you didn't go and uh, then when I started to travel I found myself searching out churches at the weekend mm. so I, I thought well I'm doing this now for nobody only myself and not that that's important I mean there are many people who maybe don't choose to attend a particular church, and they're very good people. You know, that I'm mm -hmm. not mm -hmm. saying that it's, it's the be-all and end-all, but for me, it's important. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's a nice... I've enjoyed doing the, the albums, too. I mean, I love singing the gospel music, and I love singing in church. And Mary was just saying t today that she's doing a... I'm working at the working moment. Working on a gospel. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Which I'm hoping if I'd for next Easter. I've been Great. working on it a long time. Yeah. But with touring such a heavy schedule as yeah. we do, it's kind of hard to get everything done. Sure. As I say, when the Lord made time, he didn't make enough, <laughs> I think. And Mary sings a lot in church, I too. I love church. It's know. actually my favourite place, I would say, yeah. to sing is in church. I think what brought it up today really was somebody it. asked us, would we be home for Christmas? Mm -hmm. And I said, oh, I, and I always sing in, mm -hmm. at Mass, mm -hmm. and, and Mary the does here. the same. Yeah. Christmas Eve. And, I mean, uh, would you say, Mary, that the sort of religious ballads of your childhood in Ireland have, have been an important musical influence on, on you? Well, I absolutely love singing them, for a start. As I said, they're my favourite style of song to sing. And uh, they probably... Um, I don't know, I just think when you sing in the church, you get such a wonderful feeling. Yes. Yeah. It's just mm -hmm. a feeling. I, I can't describe it. You have to do it to... Yeah, it's, 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 it's hard to just explain... I don't know what it is. There's, there's a, a serenity mm. about church singing mm. and and a peacefulness and a, a great sense of fulfilment. I, I, I can't quite yeah. explain, obviously, the, the reason is where it is. You know, it, it is fantastic. Uh, my nan is a great fan of yours, Daniel, and you've been wonderful because over the years when, when I've been in a, the office and you've come in to do an interview, you've signed off a copy of your latest CD for her and she's always delighted at that. And, and many a time I've sat in her front room and we've watched one of your shows and very often you end with um, How Great Thou Art. That's right, yeah. Uh, is that an important song for you? We do that pretty much on almost every show. I remember when I started doing that, in 1991, I had some trouble with my voice. And 
we had a big show planned for Dublin, the Point Theatre, in 92. And uh, that was like a comeback concert. And I thought, I really want, you know, to sing something that... I was so grateful to get back singing uh, that I thought, I want to just say something mm. at the end of the show that means, you know, this is what it's all about. And the people love it. I mean, I know you sing it. I do it in my shows as well, but it wouldn't be at the end. Show. different yeah. lot. <clears throat> but... Um, I think that it's lovely to include inspirational songs. I wouldn't, I mean, neither of us are out, you know, Bible bashing, we're not, sure. that's not no. our mission in sure. life. Sure. But I think it's, it's, it's a part of living that's very expression. important, mm. yes. Yeah. I mean, that, that works itself out, of course, in, in practical ways as well, your Christian faith, Daniel, because I know that, well, both of you have had an involvement in the work in Romania. Um, and with with all the charity work that you've been doing there, how's that going? Well, we've had over the years. I mean, we've had occasion to do various things. Mary sometimes on her own, me sometimes on my own, and sometimes together mm -hmm. we would do things for charity. Now the Romanian appeal. I've, I was out there in August uh, for the first time in a number of years. Uh, to just see the progress, because it's not important that I visit there all the time. But it was great to see the, the young people and see how they progressed from the first visit in '98. It was incredible. I mean, mm. when I went there, they were all living in this huge building with very little hope of any kind of future, and that was exactly what was told to me, that they would never achieve anything. And now there's a number of them living in houses. They're building... Ten apartments at the minute to house just one person that they will live on their own independently with you know help if they need it. Um, two of them got married about five months ago, and that to me speaks volumes. I mean these young people that would never achieve a lot of them are working you know they 're going to buy their, their their apartments, the ones who are going into it with the money they 're earning. Um, so, so much has been achieved, so much has still to be done. But, you know, I think in life, very often we look at the negative and say, oh, we have to do this and we have to do that and this is not right and that's not right. But two, certainly you can't forget what has to be done, but you must look at the achievement and say, look at these mm. people that, that were never going to do anything. Mm. And um, again, that's down to m lots of the people who come to our shows because they contributed, and Mary would, yeah. uh, would agree with me yes. there, they contributed so much. And people who maybe wouldn't even be fans, I would have gone on television and talked about it and did a documentary and showed it, and I can't tell you how many letters I got with money. Yeah, sure. It's been great to talk to the both of you. Um, Mary, in 20 years' time, do you think you'll still be singing alongside Daniel? Um, will we last that long, do you think? <laughs> we hope we will. <laughs> We hope we will. We, we kind of hope we'll get the pension and the bus pass. <laughs> we were talking about be, that already today, weren't be we? 40 <laughs> years before we get the bus pass. <laughs> Won't it be like it's a long years. time to wait for us. Well, 40 years we'll be ready for the bus pass. Yeah. Well, we're not really as old as we look. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're a great double act, and uh, it's been lovely to Thank be able you, to talk uh, to you. Thanks, both. Justin. Thank you for being here. And hello to Nan. <laughs> I will do, I will do. In fact, I've got her late, your latest single, and, okay, and I'm we'll going to be, be passing on to it. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you would like to download the single Save Your Love from Daniel and Mary's new album, do visit www.saveyourlove.co.uk. And don't forget that the album Together Again is available from Monday the 29th of October. Many thanks for watching this programme here on Premier.tv.